Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. Hey there, chocolate brownie lover. Check out this healthy version of a chocolate brownie that is sugar, gluten-free and vegan. Please check the list of ingredients and preparation mode in the description or first comment of this video and let's do this recipe together. So first uh, I've mixed all the dry ingredients, also added at this tape the mix of the lemon juice and baking soda. Add the wet ingredients step by step. The vegetable milk. At each step, mix very well in order to obtain the batter. The cream. And more vegetable milk. It is very important to stir really well until the milk is into our batter because we have to prepare the batter for the next step which is adding the oil mix of oil did you know that olive oil enhances very much the cacao and chocolate flavor in a brownie well you're about to find out because that's a little bit of secret right there yeah don't worry if your batter has oily like texture that's okay just continue stirring uh, because it will be absorbed by the ingredients with time. Stir really well until at a final consistency you will have this shiny sticky batter. This means that you can move your batter to the pan that you previously tapped with cooking paper. Since this batter is already oily, you don't have to add butter or other oil on the cooking paper. For this recipe I have used a 20 by 20 centimeters tray but feel free to use whatever tray you have at home because you will have quite a lot of batter I had the purpose to do also some brownie cupcakes so the quantities I have used in this recipe are quite generous So with a spatula, we'll transfer the batter to our tray and we make sure that we are at the half of the height of our tray because this cookie will grow and it will be puffy and we have to make sure that we leave enough space in our tray for it to grow. Then choose your fav favorite chocolate since uh, I wanted to make this vegan, I have chosen dark chocolate and some other vegan sugar-free chocolate and mixed it together. And yeah, be generous with your chocolate because it will make a big difference for the final outcome of your brownie. Trust me. So here it is, all ready and beautiful to take it to the electric oven and let it there for 35 to 40 minutes 
180 Celsius degrees to properly cook. Here it is, our final product. Oh wow, I personally found it brilliant. It was so nice, so tasty, so tender. Just amazing. I do hope you tried this recipe and leave me a feedback in the comments below the video. If you already subscribed to my channel, see you next video. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!